and they're off. Two miles ahead of them in the Unibet 3 Uniboost Today handicap and through the early stages, Anis Optera taken on by Stiletto and towards the inside rail, Mount Olympus. The almost white tribal commander is also going forward and quite wide is Ballet Blanc as they begin to make the turn out of the back straight for the first time. And it is Anis Optera, the dual course and distance winner, who leads the way to tribal commander in second at the end of the first quarter mile. Ballet Blanc is now in third, a little lit up, with on the inside Mount Olympus in fourth position. There's now two lengths back uh, to Stiletto, who races up on the outside a blaze on five as a new leader. Now tribal commander goes on as they come into the home straight for the first time. Looking at the rear of the field, Blaze on five has got three behind at this point. Uh, Tidal Storm is one of them, also want to be brave, and last of all is World Without Love. And now driven into the lead is Ballet Blanc. Ballet Blanc is driven clear as a race to the the winning line, but with a circuit to go here. Neil Callan is driving home Ballet Blanc, and Ballet Blanc is clear by about five lengths. But they've still got a circuit to go. Ballet Blanc, ease now in front. Travel Commander will now come through to take the lead once again. Anis Optera now about to take second. And then Mount Olympus. Neil Callan looking round now realises what's happened. And Travel Commander now goes on into a lead of four lengths. Ballet Blanc now back into second place. In third, Anis Optera. And in fourth is Mount Olympus, followed then by Pleasure Garden as they head down the back straight. Blaze on five is next. Stiletto, followed on the inside by Wannabe Brave. Wannabe Brave has gone past Tidal Storm. And still at the back of the field is World Without Love. And they're racing now on towards their starting point. They've got six furlongs to go. And Tribal Commander and Shane Kelly have still got the lead. Now ridden towards the outside, Mount Olympus switched out wide by Charles Bishop to try and close around the outside of runners. And now Mount Olympus has moved through into a share of second with Anis Optera on that one's inside as the field now begin to bunch up. Tidal Storm, another one who has been ridden along to try and close from the back of the field. So they go into the turn with a half mile to run. And Tribal Commander still has the lead over Anis Optera in second. Mount Olympus is in third. And then Pleasure Garden in fourth position. In fifth is Blaze on five, followed by Wannabe Brave and Stiletto, then World Without Love, and then Tidal Storm, and totally tailed off at ease now is Ballet Blanc. They're in line for home, two and a half furlongs to go, and Tribal Commander is driven along. Annie Soptera comes back through to reclaim the lead. Now Blaze on five makes her presence felt down the wide outside. Wannabe Brave is on the inner. Now Stiletto is staying on from a long way back, and so too is World Without Love, who didn't get a great deal of luck in the run outside the final furlong. It's Blaze on five who leads the way to want to be brave. Now clear sailing for World Without Love, but she got out too late. First run, the critical first run, went to Blaze on five. Unlucky World Without Love in second, want to be brave in third. Well, it was eventful, but the favourite has still won all the same. Blaze on five, a winner for Roger Till and Lewis Edmonds came through with a well-timed run in front of the unlucky, unlucky World Without Love, who it would have been interesting to see exactly what uh, World Without Love would have been able to achieve with, with a clear run, to be honest. Blocks off at a crucial stage. However, with clean sailing down the outside, the three or three World Without Love it couldn't couldn't get it on couldn't get to grips with blaze on five who as we say was coming down the the wide outside no obstacles in front of her and and she's once again won over course and distance that's two on the bounce a, a lovely performance in the end and a filly who probably has plenty more to give the the story of the race undoubtedly neil callum riding a circuit too soon on ballet blanket certainly an evening of highs and lows having having won an earlier nursery with tenjin but He's not the first jockey to do it, and he definitely won't be the last. A rush of blood to the head, and ultimately a, a mistake where you, you pay the full price. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.